Yeah, and you guys don't ask too many questions, you know, because we don't want to talk, ask him about the fire, okay? He'll talk Open the door with this going. Do I open it? No. Oh, she's talking. Do I open it? Cut. Just stop. Hello? Ryan! 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 Hey, guys. How you doing? It must hey, be Brian. Been, Hello. It must have been scary inside. Corey! Brian, good to see you, man. You okay? Sorry to hear about what happened. Let's come on inside and let's have a drink. All right. You know, don't you think it's kind of weird that your, your brother got out and your dad died? What do you mean? What are you saying? I just think it's... What the heck was that? Oh man, Brandon's watch. That's his dad's watch. How did he get that? Christine. Look what I found in Brian's clothes. This is the reality. You do the best you can in terms of what. This was his dad's watch. No, probably took him from the house. He was telling me that his dad had this on when he, when he, the day he died. How would he have this? Oh my God. What are, what do you got him under a microscope? I think he's fucking psycho. Oh, nice. That's a really nice thing to say about my brother. Well, I mean, you know, it was on your dad. Okay. How can it be there? The kids are home tomorrow. We need to get a babysitter for them. Okay. So why don't we have Brian watch him? I'm not having that psycho watch my kids. Oh, that's stupid, Shane. There's no reason why Brian can't watch him. I'm not paying a sitter. He's watching him, and that's it! Yeah, yeah, see how psycho I am. Okay. 
are you okay what happened out there? Look, I, we were, he asked me to do some tricks and then we were having fun and I, he threw me into the deep end but I think he was just trying to play around with me. I didn't think he was like trying to kill me or something. I saw the whole thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw the whole thing. thing. I was there. I was panicked. I saw him trying to freaking drown you. Well, dude, just forget it. I'm not playing with you. Jeez. Excuse me, Shane. I hate to be nosy, but today while I was dusting, I happened to look out the window, and Brian was out there with Chris, with uh, Corey, and they were in, uh, Chris threw him in the deep end, and he jumped in after Corey. And Corey was trying to swim, and he seemed like he was having problems. And Chris or Cor um, Brian had his hands on top of his head, like he was trying to drown him. Yeah, and I, he doesn't seem to be his normal self. I talked to Christine about it, but she doesn't want to have anything to hear about anybody saying anything bad about her brother. Maybe you could talk to her a little bit. Okay. Maybe if she hears it from you, she'll, uh, All right. she'll, she'll take more to it. Just we're thought you for, should know. Yeah, okay. we're asking for trouble having that yeah, maniac around here I too know. long, so we're going to try and really? get him to leave early. He's pretty bad, you know. I mean, you could it. really drown him, you know. Yeah, we'll have to. Maybe you can talk to Christine. Yeah, we'll have to. Maybe you can talk to Christine. Hey, um, Patty. Before we go to the store, I took the liberty of um, making you a, a cup of coffee. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, we're, right going, we're going to the store. See we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hey, guys, where are we going to get to? We'll be back in a little bit. If you can, just do the laundry. Oh, that was the so nice of him. While we're, while that was we're so around. sweet of him to make me a cup of coffee. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Bye. Bye. Christine, Patty, Patty told me yesterday before the whole collapse thing that she saw Brian throw Corey in the deep end and, and just watched him out there as he was struggling. Um, she also said she saw how psychotic he can he can really be. Christine, I think I think your brother needs to go. Okay, I think you're making up this whole Patty thing, and it's creeping me out. There's no proof that he tried to drown Corey or that he did anything to hurt the man. Uh, well, actually he did yesterday. I saw him. I saw the whole thing. I saw him trying to, like, I saw him pull, push him in. You're right. putting him up to this, aren't you, Shane? Oh, my God. Do you think Uh, yeah, come in. Brian, can I talk to you? Oh, uh, sure. Well, I just, I want to know how you felt about the whole dad thing and the whole fire. No bullshit, for real, straight up. Well, it was unfortunate that that happened, you know? But that's why I don't use the stove anymore. <laughs> Brian, you'd tell me if something was wrong, wouldn't you? Nothing is wrong with me. You're just imagining things. Well, what's going on is... 
Ryan is now saying that he saw you attempting to drown Corey in the pool, and Shane's calling you names. He's saying you're psycho, and he says that he thinks you had something to do with the sudden death of Patty, our maid. Look here. Accidents happen. And you know what? If Shane has a problem with me, that's fine. Tell him to come over here and talk to me to my face. And you know what? If Ryan claims that he saw everything, why didn't he try to open the door that day, huh? I think what you need to do right now is get out of my face and get out of my room. I think you're taking it. Get the hell out of my room. They're starting to know too much. Definitely. They're starting to know a lot more than they were supposed to. What do I do? I mean, Ryan's easy. I can shut him up. But Shane... Shane will be a problem. What to do, what to do. Traces of arsenic in your in Patty's blood. They found arsenic in her blood. Poison. She was poisoned. Really? Yes. Who would poison Patty? Christine, have you seen Max? Ah, uh, he's outside, isn't he? Max. The gate's open. I'm gonna go see if he's down in the wash. you go swimming sometime and invite Brian out to go swimming with you mm -hmm. and he'll probably try and drown you like he did Corey yeah. but this time I'll be there to watch and I'll go get his I'll go get mom and his ass will be out of here that sounds good how about three o'clock three o'clock tomorrow yeah deal okay okay Christine what? come look out the window come on I know, but I need you to look out the window. Come on, come over here. Christine, you need to come look out the window. I've seen people swim before. Come look out the window. Just before you go, go real quick and look out. Oh, 
Okay, wow. Well, they're swimming, what? Alright, so what happened? Dad, he's completely harmless. How can you say that after what happened to his brother, to your brother? Uh, it was sunny that day, and I was probably overreacting. Oh man, he's got you fooled too. I'm gonna prove all of you guys wrong, all three of you. Give it up, Dad. Wake up! <laughs> now you don't feel so good, do you? Now you're sitting there wondering when the end is gonna come. Now shut up! Now it's time for you to pay for everything that you put me through this year. For all of everything you caused me. Now it's your turn to die. Jane, I'm home. What was that? Jane? 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 What do you want to have for dinner? Shane? Oh my God. going on around here. What are you talking about? What do you mean what am I talking about? People are dropping like flies. Shane's dead. The housekeeper Patty is dead. Stop waiting around. Mm -hmm. Brian! Peter! Jesus Christ, what the head. fuck is your problem? Listen to me. I want to know what the hell is going on. So you're asking me? Well, nobody died before you came. Don't rip off my headphones, okay? These cost like $70, man. I'm serious. Give me this. There, now you don't hear anything. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're my brother. If something is wrong, we need to talk about it. We can get you some help, Brian. I'm sick of this shit, you know? Brian? I'm blamed for everything. I'm blamed for Patty's death. Oh, oh, she all of a sudden drinks something bad, so I'm the blame for it. I went to the store that day, okay? I went with you. I was walking out with you. Shane said, oh my God, I wasn't even here. He was tied up and beaten. So you want, so the blame goes to me automatically. All I know is that, look, you're my brother. You got any dirt on me? Huh? Do you have anything on me? Do you have any proof it was me? Then get the hell out of my face. Hey, Christine, I just wanted to tell you, uh, I'm sorry for yelling at you 
I mean, hey, there, there, I know there has been some weird things going on, but you got to believe me. I can do it. So, okay. so, so where are you going? I think I'm going to stay. I'm going to go to the library. Mm -hmm. so you I want me to drive you there? Some good reading and probably be good. No. No. No, I'm. I'm just. I just. I need some time. Well, that's understandable. I'll, I'll watch the tape. Okay. Okay. Bye. Uh, see you later. See ya. Can I help you with anything here? Get out, Max. Go. Um, my name is Christine Zimmerman, and um, I need to speak with somebody about um, my brother and some murders that happened here. Um, I'm at 47th Drive, 85308. Okay. Hi, Officer Sweeney. It's Christine. Um, you know, I just uh, wanted to talk to you about my brother. I have some suspicions that Brian might have killed Shane and Patty. Right. Well, I, I know that right, there's not enough evidence. Well, I found out some more information from the library. I went to the library and looked up some stuff on his past, and he was in trouble for some very similar uh, charges in Ohio with his father in the fire. Right. Well, they dropped the charges. There wasn't enough evidence, I mean, enough proof. But I just, I think with that and then with what we have now, it'd probably be, I, I don't know, I think maybe we should look into it. You know, you can't do anything. Okay, thanks, bye. Hi, 
um, this is Christine Zimmerman. I need to talk with Dr. Smallin, please. Yeah, um, hi, Dr. Smallin. I was wondering if uh, I should set up an appointment with you. Um, I'm having some problems with my brother, and I was wondering if you could possibly talk to him and, and help him. He's got a lot of problems, and... Uh, I think he's in denial about a lot of things, you know, the murders that we've had here and, you know, the ones, right, that you've been seeing the kids for. And um, I just, uh, I have a feeling that he might be involved and I was wondering if you could talk to him. The police won't help. Okay, what day? I mean, just the earliest that you have would be great. Tomorrow, please. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Not good. Not good at all. I didn't think I would go this way. I didn't expect to get in trouble myself. This is definitely going to hurt me. They suspect so. That's okay. Alright, just calm yourself down, okay? Just don't listen to him. Just be your own person. Continue yourself, Brian. Keep going. But Chris, I don't want to keep going. Brian, listen to me. Just kill them. Kill them all. And act fast. I will, Chris. I will. Kill. Who could be after that? Who could be after that? I think someone was after him, maybe from, I think, from work. Who would be after that? Uh, Jay, so I suppose you think it's Brian? I didn't say that. Hello? Um, yeah, this is him. Is this some kind of joke? No, 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 listen to me. I don't want help. Fuck off. What the hell are you doing? I'm talking about, uh, I just got a call from a psychiatrist. Maybe you know her? Brian, look. I love you, and I care about you. You don't love me. And I only want to help you. I know what you did, and, you know, I, I just want to get you some help. Bullshit. What did I do? You need to get some help. You need... For what? If you if there's nothing wrong, what harm is it going to do to talk to the psychiatrist? I don't like psychiatrists. We don't get along well. Brian, you either have to do this or you're going to have to leave. Okay. I, don't, I have to leave because I won't go see a psychiatrist? No, I'm screwed with this, man. I'm out of here since you don't need me, you know? Why don't you go to the psychiatrist? I thought you did love me, but I guess I not. I do! Brian! Family's full of shit. 
trust me, you got. Oh my gosh. Oh. Everybody needs oh. to talk to somebody to talk to. But don't worry. I'm not making a deal. You haven't seen the last of me. You're making a big deal. You haven't seen the last of me. Hello? Brian? Have you decided to come back and see if we can get you some help? I don't know what you mean. I'm worried about you, Brian. You know I care about you. Brian, I'm just trying to help you. Brian, listen to me. You you need to come back and let's take you somewhere. We'll get you some help. Uh, Brian, you need you They can help you. We all care about you, Brian, and we want to help you.
breath. Oh, it's late time. Oh, let's get away. That's okay. Don't open the door! Let me call the police. I know, hold on. I know. I just go in there. Don't He seems to be sincere, Cory. I think he's crying. Don't go. I think he's crying, Cory. What do you want me to do? Just leave him out there? No. Don't touch him. It's okay, Cory. No. Don't go! Please, can you come out there? Why do you come out there? Just because I don't Leave want us alone. you to get me hurt. I'm sorry, okay? I did some things that I regret, and I know I'm psychotic in the head. Please come out. I don't want to talk in front of them. Can you please come out here? You can have them go in their room. No, please, come out here. Mom. That's a major problem. Yeah. 